So what is subnetting and why do we need it? And we have already these discuss these things but just for the sake of revision subnetting is the practice of dividing up a network into two or more networks okay so there is one single IP address which we can divide or I mean single uh, class network which we can divide into multiple networks okay Common advantages of subnetting include enhancing routing efficiency, network management control, and improving network security. And sometimes we need to summarize our network. So it enha enhances uh, the capability of routing. Uh, it <clears throat> also helps us providing network security because then we uh, we have multiple you know these uh, class uh, ranges available and then we can you know uh, do some kind of like access ACL access control list uh, you know to um, which helps us basically um, secure our network internal or external network so these kind of you know kind of securities can be improved when we are using subnetting and then we also can um, summarize our network uh, when you will hit uh, the routing uh, sections in uh, later uh, uh, sessions you will see I will be talking about the summarization okay so these are uh, some of the benefits you can get uh, having subnetting Okay, and uh, I have already talked about why do we need subnetting because we do not want to waste a uh, number of IP addresses. So let's head over to the next slide. Here I am talking of how many network and host requires here. Okay, so um, so before uh, me forward to us. Uh, uh, instead of me it should be Zippo I sorry for that so before I move uh, move towards the exercise we will understand how many network and host requires for the given topology so these are known as the topologies either you can use multiple IP addresses for different network or use one IP address and do custom subnetting this thing we have already discussed in our previous slides so right now how many networks do we need here we know this is one network this is another network this is third network this is fourth network and this is five so it means we need total number of five networks here or different kind of IP addresses similarly here we need one two and for this whole net network we need another one so it means one two and three so here we need three total number of net 